Brooklyn Independent Television. Red Hook blacksmith Marsha Tratner brings this ancient art form into modernity with her utterly unique handmade metal wares. We recently caught up with her and got our own personal class in blacksmithing. My name is Marsha Tratner. I'm an artist blacksmith, a sculptor, designer, and I'm also the owner of a metalworking business called She Weld. We do custom metal fabrication, uh, and we also do classes through the School of Visual Arts, uh, New York City's first and only blacksmithing classes. I've really always been an artist. I've segued into other interests like biology. I became more interested in making sculpture and really through that I found metal as a medium. So I, I actually consider it just an extension of doing drawing um, and making sculpture and a way of drawing in space. Really through that I've just develop skills that I can also apply to repair things for people, um, make furniture, but really my main focus is as an artist. I think no one's as surprised as me is how much I've become interested in working with metal. And in some respects, I really think it's working with the heat and the fire and changing the material properties that gives it a life and allows me you know, uh, uh, practically to form it and to change it. But I think something happens in that moment where I feel really in tune with it. And of course, it's taken years and years of practice to get to a point where I feel like I can have a very close space between my thought and making something physical with it. I think it's really the process and the, the moment of working with it. Marsha creates a really welcoming atmosphere in class and um, I work with a lot of tools during my day job so it was pretty seamless for me to come into the shop but there's a, other students in class that didn't have a lot of tool experience but she gives a good overview of everything and everybody becomes pretty comfortable quickly. I've had a lot of experience working in male dominated industries like I started out as a carpenter and still do that on the side and I actually find it almost an advantage to be a woman because I think we don't have as many expectations on us that a lot of guys in our society do that they have to come in knowing how to do it. You don't need a lot of strength and brawn. It's like anything, you take baby steps and you learn how to do it one skill at a time. And Marsha's really good about knowing when to let you experiment and knowing when you need help and knowing when to push you and knowing when to just support you. I moved to Red Hook in 2003 uh, with my boyfriend Richard. This was just an existing garage which he's since renovated. It's part of the, the whole change in the real estate going on in Williamsburg. That's why it really necessitated moving this, this studio here, but it's really been fantastic. There was a point where it was hard to get students here um, and people to come here because they weren't so familiar with coming to Red Hook. And ever since you know, there's been this boom in other businesses moving in. It really hasn't been an issue. And there's so many great people around here where we're able to work together or we take advantage of each other's opportunities. I just made the new sign over at Kentler Drawing Space. I've collaborated with a number of other businesses. There's just this kind of excitement with, with how everybody's rooting for each other and just figuring out ways that we can all collaborate. I've been putting a lot of focus over the last two years specifically in getting my design work out. I've been getting an amazing reception over these objects and I think because I've been making things that people really love to live with. I make things that I love to live with that I'd like to give to people. I've been also making jewelry and it really comes out of exploring things. It's like little making little sculptures. So I'm going to show making one of my bowls. Uh, first I want to hammer out all the metal to give it a texture. Um, what I like to do is attach a few pieces so I can hammer a few at a time instead of doing it singly. So now I'm going to take 
it over the forge to heat it up and I can hammer it to give it a texture. So now I'm gonna put the metal in the forge, get it hot, so then it'll be malleable and I can hammer on it to change the shape. So now that the metal is a yellow heat, I can hammer on it. And then I'll put it back in. over to uh, my welding station so I can show you how we put them together. We'll bring over the hammer pieces, cut them, and I have some of the bowl shapes started already. So I'll usually basically map out the main shape. weld the framework together and then start adding pieces. And I make these like a drawing. Don't exactly plan it out. It actually becomes a very fluid process this way. So usually as I'm working, I have to reshape different parts of it. So from here, where I've outlined the main shape and start adding one piece at a time, usually after an hour, sometimes a couple hours, I'll end up with the finished bowl with multiple layers and a really nice piece for people to live with. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAN TV Network.